an attorney and I, it could possibly uh, be stretched to that point, but I just think it's a lot cleaner and easier to do at the city level than it is at the state level. So what, in New Hampshire's case, I just want to bring this to a conclusion there, like, what should the consequence be for the public? Well, they should be thrown out of office. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for starters. Anybody that proposes such a thing should, uh, should face the wrath of the voters in this. I mean, one of the things I hope we do here today is at least draw attention to the fact that this happened. I mean, I know that the bill has been tabled. I recognize that. But I think that it is extremely important to recognize that it has happened, that somebody introduced a, something like this, a measure like this. And it's been my experience as a state legislator, by the way, that once this starts, you will see these things again and again and again. Unless, of course, somebody like the governor says, look, there's no way it's going to happen. I will veto it if it ever does go any farther. So um, I hope that people, I hope attention is brought to it, and I hope that this particular legislator has to deal with this uh, with their constituents. Can I also ask you about um, getting ready for tonight? What's tonight? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Hold on a second. What uh, what do you need to accomplish tonight? You know, <laughs> the guys on the bookend who are bookends on this this thing, generally speaking, um, because you don't get a majority of the questions. You don't even get uh, a uh, a good share of the questions. So it's a tough it's a tough task, um, and because the time limit is so short, you know, a minute to maybe answer a question. Um, I don't know, maybe you got to just jump up and down, scream and yell in order to distinguish yourself. But it, it's, uh, it is a process that's very challenging because it, it's, it doesn't really allow you to get very substantive in, 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 in the substantive issues. Um, so it's, you know, how well can you do in a minute to prove to America that you should be President of the United States? I mean, that's a challenge. What, what subject are you going to make your mark? Well, again, you don't get a choice. It's not as if you can simply talk about the things you want to talk about. Um, it happens in these states. Because here, at least, I can come up here. You know, I, We have the resources to be fairly competitive in two states. And that's why the, the whole primary process, the early primaries and caucuses, are important for people like me. Because if you don't have 100 million bucks, you're going to have to rely on what happens here in order to make you viable in the next stage of the event, uh, all, the, the Super Tuesday primary. And so if you don't do well enough here, you're pretty much out of it. What do you think about Fred Thompson skipping this debate and appearing on Jay Leno tonight? Well, you know, I guess I wish I could have done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to go on Jay Leno and talk a lot more than I'm going to be able to be talk a, on a debate here in New Hampshire, except that the fact is um, we have, there's a group of us, you know, who have uh, begun this process in the traditional sense, I guess. Um, it was probably a smart thing. I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm assuming his campaign made the decision that that's the way it would be because it would steal uh, some, of the, you know, some of the thunder and... Uh, and put some focus uh, on him and his campaign. It was probably a smart move. I, I can't argue with it. Um, as I say, I, I'd give anything to be um, to have a little more time on any of these issues than I'm going to get tonight, probably. But uh, but that's the way it is. Do you think it's a sign he's not ready for a debate? Well, you know, he. It, I, I guess to the extent that you can probably avoid this thing and and just get all of the attention yourself. Hey. You know, I, politically speaking, probably pretty smart. Whether he's ready for it or not, the fact is he's going to get a lot of attention tonight. Ours is going to be minimized because of it. Um, and from a political standpoint, who can argue with it? Probably the smart thing. How about um, Senator Craig's decision? <laughs> How about that? What is going on there? I mean, I don't know w what the deal is here. I, uh, As I understand it now, I mean... And, and this is just in the last few moments, really, that I've heard uh, that this is the case. He's not really sure that he's going to to resign. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to be ex-Senator Craig, whether he wants to have it that way or not. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to go any far. I mean, this is becoming a fiasco. If that's in case, in fact, what's happening out there. I mean, I, 
I don't know all the details yet, but uh, you know the party will not support his re-entry into this thing. Um, he may think he's going to, to run again as a Republican, but it won't happen. Uh, you know, there will certainly be a challenge in the in the in the party itself. I, I don't think he'd be successful, and maybe then he thinks, who knows, he's running as an independent. I don't know what. All I do know is this: this is not good news to the Republicans in Idaho. And it's not good news for the for us in the Congress because you know the last thing we need is another Republican seat that is um, wavering, uh, you know where we can't. You what what would otherwise be a good solid Republican seat is now turning into one where it's it's sort of a toss up. That's not good. Uh, it's not good for the party certainly. Yeah, what a mess. Any questions? All good. Thank you.